With Survey Analytics version 5.5, we now have new question types available to manage your logic criteria, as well as branching and skip patterns. Those questions include date and time question types, open-ended numeric data, open-ended comments, rank order, as well as side-by-side -side matrix, with a lot more to come in the future. And the reason why we've added these is because we have many clients of ours who would like to be able to do logic criteria using these question types. And in the past, we used to do some scripting to allow these. But now that we've opened it, um, you can now use the standard um, branching and skip patterns that we have. So let's go ahead and look at an example. So for the first one here is the date and time. We can now go into the logic and then add either branching, compound delayed, or show high question options from inside here. Um, this used to not even be available there, so now that is available. The next question type we have is a ranking order question type. And in order to set this up properly, um, you'd want to do a compound delayed branching that um, works best there as well as um, any show hide options or show hide. Um, standard branching does not work on this question type. Um, so to do that all you need to do is select compound delayed branching and then you would go ahead and create your own logic criteria which is uh, when you go in and you can set up a quick test. And I'm going to go ahead and rank out our Mac. Let's see how many people ranked him as number two. And if anyone ranked him as number two, then we can have him uh, move on to you know different parts of the survey. We can also include additional and or um, and pick additional question types to go along with it uh, per usual. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and go with Mac, ring, and then type in the number 2. And then click Filter, Save Filter, Continue. And now I can go ahead and pick Mac, and then decide what to do next. So you can do the Jump To and Otherwise. You can also uh, go in and include um, some other question types. You can also access other um, logic criteria if you have those um, but now that's available with ranking. Let's go ahead and look at some open-ended text comments as well as numeric text comments. So you can see here that I have a question about the nightman cometh. How many times does um, the dayman shoot the troll? So we want to get a numeric value there. And then this question here we're asking about the singer that both Frank and his brother fell in love with. What's the name of the singer? And then we asked a fun question. How many times did you watch the kitten in in infomercial? So that's another numeric value. So with all those numeric values, you do want to set up compound delayed branching. And it would be the same way as we kind of did earlier with the rank order. And you can go ahead and set up your logic criteria. So here I can say, you know, how many times did they get shot? And instead of being stuck on a close-ended value, you can actually type in the actual numeric value. So you can say is equal to, is greater to, is less than. Um, so I can say anytime someone mentioned 5 or higher, or greater than 5, then you can uh, do something in the survey in terms of branching and skip patterns. And you can also include um, the question. As well, 
So you can see this is a different one. <coughs> and I can just type in the name of the singer. And it could be equal to case insensitive or sensitive or it contains text. So as long as it's, it contains text within a sentence, you can use that as well. And then go ahead and save your filter. And then you can pull up troll five times and then specify what the survey t will do at that point. And last but not least, we do have side-by-side -side matrix available for logic criteria now. And again, this is available to do compound delayed branching or inside this question itself you can do show high dimensions. So if you want to hide, you know, scripting, directing, acting, or shows music, you can set up that. Otherwise, um, you can do compound delayed branching, which you apply to the question afterwards, generally or much further down in the survey. And you can set up the logic criteria here. And for instance, I want to do one on the quality of acting. And say that the acting is 5. And it is selected. And then I could also add another one about the satisfaction about the acting. And pick five as well. So if someone answers five and five for acting quality and satisfaction, then you can set up a filter um, and compound branching based off of that. So save the filter. And now this is available. to do what you would like to do with the survey. And go ahead and save that, and then you're all set to go. So that is the new logic criteria that is available on the survey creation side. Thank you.